Guys, popular Nollywood actor Alex Ekubo's ex fiancee came out to write a long note about why she called off her wedding a week to the fixed date. Guys, I'll go straight to show you what she wrote. But before I do that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also hit the red subscribe button down there if you've not subscribed to my channel already. Now, she said, I want to clear the air about the statement I made to the public regarding the demise of my engagement with Alex. During an emotional state of mind, I announced that I ended things. In hindsight, that detail wasn't necessary to be revealed because it only complicated things more. I felt betrayed by Alex in private, but I didn't have to release a statement to the public. So I want to apologize to him and everyone that was affected by my emotional reaction. People have different ways of dealing with trauma and stress. Some cry themselves to sleep, some vent, some use substances, and some smile through the pain to avoid dealing with it. A month after the breakup, I traveled a lot with family and friends, posted my best life to distract myself. I acted like everything was okay even though I was completely devastated behind closed doors. Only my friends and family witnessed as I struggled to eat, sleep and couldn't stop crying. I was trying to escape from my reality and look like a strong woman, but I was weak. I was embarrassed to show I was heartbroken publicly because I asked for privacy so I felt my silence on the situation would help calm things down. I also want to clear the air regarding the context of my statement. In the five sentences I wrote, the highlighted part that was all over the social media was live in your truth. I never said Alex should live in his truth. The sentence I wrote in full was everyone should find their happiness and live in their truth. My words were miscontrolled and now understandably seem directly at him because of the gay rumors that have followed him for years. Sadly, anything I would have said or not said would have led to these assumptions. From the moment I said yes to the moment I unfollowed him, everyone kept pushing the gay narrative. It's not something I can control but hopefully I can try to explain my meaning. Also, this is not to say being gay is bad. I have gay friends and support the LGBT community. Living in one's truth is to live as your most authentic self, to live by what you preach. If you speak of loyalty, be loyal. If you speak of discipline, be disciplined. The list goes on. It's too bad to explain, but it does not mean someone is gay. It's a beautiful phrase that wasn't meant to be negative and it wasn't directed at him. I'm living in my truth now by speaking up and no longer being afraid to be vulnerable publicly about how devastating this situation has been and how much it has affected my mental health and well-being this past year. I will not reveal the reason why we ended. That's personal and he has already apologized. I have forgiven Alex for his actions and he has forgiven me for my reactions. We have resolved our issues in private, which hasn't been an easy journey, but I'm grateful with all the progress made so far. There have been several theories and rumors about our breakup and I understand the curiosity because we did bring our relationship to the public and our wedding was highly publicized. But please don't believe everything you hear and read. I believe forgiveness is a part of love even when it's over. I will always have respect and appreciation for what we shared during our five years together, regardless of this outcome. I truly pray for Alex Hap I truly pray for Alex's happiness, love, and wish him joy and continuous success. Furthermore, to the Ekuba family and friends, I still love you all, especially Mother of Diamond, Alex's amazing mother. She was truly becoming my new mom. So the loss of our relationship has been devastating, but I'm grateful that we are at a good place of forgiveness and understanding. She is always in my prayers. To the Acholunu family and friends, please forgive Alex, nobody is perfect. As humans, we are all flawed. So let's all let go so we both family can move on in peace with no animosity. It's not been easy being vulnerable publicly because expressing your vulnerabilities can be nerve-wracking and it can be used against you. In the media, your words can be twisted. 
Your actions can be misconstrued, so this is why it has taken me almost a year to speak up. I needed the time and strength to heal before breaking my silence on this. I never thought I could recover from this, but God has strengthened me beyond my imaginations. And I pray for strength and healing for Alex, his friends and many too. Thank you.